20 years ago, I was in an old library in London called the London Library. And I was just going through the stacks, the shelves, and I saw a book propping up a water pipe quite high up. And I thought, that's kind of weird and probably not very good. So I pulled the book down and I opened it up and I found myself sucked into the most magical, wonderful tale of exploration, forgotten tale of exploration ever told. This is a copy of the book and the title is The Narrative of Robert Adams, a sailor who was wrecked on the western coast of Africa in the year 1810, was detained three years in slavery by the Arabs of the Great Desert and resided several months in the city of Timbuktu. 200 years ago, all the major European powers were obsessed with one goal in exploration, and that was to get a white man, a Christian as they called him, to Timbuktu and back. And all they really knew was that Timbuktu was in West Africa, and what they believed was it was a city fashioned from the purest, purest gold. Everything in the place, from the cobblestones to the beds to the plates, they thought was gold. Without doubt, the overwhelming theme in Timbuktu, the novel, my novel, is love. It's a love story, plain and simple. Robert Adams, an illiterate American sailor, was um, cast out of the United States because his father-in-law didn't like uh, the look of him. And he was shipwrecked on the west coast of Africa. And there began this huge, huge epic journey to get back to the woman he loved. And after incredible trials and tribulations, he made his way redeemed to Morocco, to Mogador, which is modern Essaouira. And after even more adventures, he arrived in London. And that's where my own story, my own novel, Timbuktu, begins. Over 20 years, I researched the story of this illiterate American sailor, Robert Adams, who was the first white man, the first Christian ever to visit the city of Timbuktu. Through twists and turns, Robert Adams survived years of enslavement, eventually reaching England. It was there that he was discovered, half naked and starving, on the streets of London in December 1815. The narration of his story became an obsession of the time, although it horrified the aristocratic gentry. It's just the most extraordinary true life tale on which to, to base a more sort of fictitious appraisal of his story. But at the center of it, as I say, is this love story. And it's something I really hope will appeal to all my readers, everyone out there.